Jimmy is a middle schooler who loves to walk, run, and ride in the car. He especially enjoys racing his friends when they go buy snacks at the store. One day, Jimmy was running with his friends to the store, and they were all running at the same speed of 10 miles per hour. The store was two miles away, so they wanted to know how much time it would take them to run there. Let's help Jimmy and his friends figure out how long the trip would take them. Let's break it down into four steps. Step one, what do we know? We know that Jimmy and his friends are running at 10 miles per hour. So their velocity equals 10 miles per hour. We also know that the store is two miles away. So the distance equals two miles. Step two, what are we trying to find? We want to know how long the trip to the store will take. So we want to find time, T. Step three, what formula will we use? For this, we will use our magic triangle. Because we are trying to solve for time, we use our thumb to cover up the T, which stands for time, which leaves us with D divided by V, distance divided by velocity. So our formula is time equals distance divided by velocity. Step four, finally, we plug in our numbers and solve. Distance equals two miles, velocity equals 10 miles per hour. So two divided by 10 equals one over five hours, or that's the same thing as 12 minutes. So the answer is time equals one over five hours or 12 minutes. So how long will it take Jimmy and his friends to run to the store two miles away if they are running at 10 miles per hour? It will take them one fifth of an hour or 12 minutes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Jimmy likes to ride in the car. One weekend, he was in the car on the way to Sun Valley Mall in Concord. The car was going 65 miles per hour, and they had been driving for half an hour. Jimmy was curious, and he wanted to know how many miles they had traveled in that one half hour. Let's help Jimmy figure out how many miles he had gone. Again, let's break it down into four steps. What do we know? We know that Jimmy's car is going 65 miles per hour. So the velocity of the car is 65 miles per hour. We also know that they have been driving for half an hour. So that means the time is half an hour. Step two, what are we trying to find? We are trying to find how many miles Jimmy's car has traveled. So we are solving for distance, D. Step three, what formula will we use? Here, we will use our magic triangle again. We want to find distance, D. So we cover up D with our thumb, and that leaves us with velocity times time. So our formula is distance equals velocity times time. Finally, step four, we plug in our numbers and solve. Jimmy's car velocity is 65 miles per hour, and the time traveled is half an hour. If we use our calculator, we see that 65 times 1 half is 32.5, 32 and a half. So after driving 65 miles per hour for half an hour, Jimmy's car has gone 32 and a half miles. Sun Valley Mall is 35 miles away. So Jimmy is almost there.